Welcome back. This time we will cover keyboard events in WX widgets. Keyboard events are generated when the user presses or releases a key. Let's see how they work. Like last time, the mainframe only contains a panel and a status bar. We will start by declaring an event handler, so let's navigate to mainframe.h. I will call the event handler on key event. All event handlers for key events must take a WX key event reference as parameter. Okay, back to the implementation file. Here we define on key event. To start with, it will simply display the text key event in the status bar. I want this method to be called when the user presses a key on the keyboard. So in the constructor, let's call bind on the panel. Here we pass in the event tag called wxevt key down. and our onKeyEvent method, which should be called on this object. Now we can start the program. When I press a key, our message appears in the status bar. Next, let's display which key was pressed. The WX key event contains two methods for getting the key. We start by covering the getUnicodeKey method, which returns the character corresponding to the pressed key. Now we can display this character in the status bar. All right, let's take a look. When I press a key, we see its corresponding character in the status bar. But this only works for printable characters. If I press the home key for example, then we don't see any character. WX widgets recommends that you use get unicode key for all printable characters. It should even work for characters that can only be entered on some national keyboards. However, when special keys such as home, end, or caps lock are pressed, then get unicode key returns wxk none. To distinguish between these keys, we must use the get key code method. Let's try to display the key code in the status bar. For the normal keys, we display the same message as before. Pressing a character key works just like before. But if I press home now, we see the key code for it. Note that a key code is simply an integer. Other keys like int and caps lock have different key codes. But there are still some keys that don't seem to do anything. If I press tab or one of the arrow keys, then nothing happens. These keys are used internally by the panel for navigation as you will see later. How can we check if a specific key was pressed? If that key is a character key like A, we can simply compare it to the return value of get unicode key. Note 
that you should use uppercase characters here. Otherwise, it won't work. For special keys, we must use get key code. Let's say I want to check if home was pressed. To do that, we can compare the return value with 313, which is the key code for home. But that's not very expressive. Instead, you should use the WX key code enum like this. Now it's much more clear that we are checking for the home key. Let me just add a return here so we avoid executing the code below. This way we can actually see the effect of our checks. If I press a key like B or C, nothing happens. But when I press A, we get a message. And similarly for the home key. Great. Let's get rid of these checks. And then focus on the call to bind in the constructor, specifically the event tag. If you want to detect a key release instead of a key press, you can use WX EVT key up. There is also an event tag called WX EVT char. It is similar to the key down tag, but key combinations are handled differently. If you press Shift A, then on key event will only be called once with the key code for an uppercase A. With WX EVT key down, on key event would be called twice, once for shift and once for A. All right, what happens if we add some controls to our panel? Let me add two buttons. If I press a key, nothing seems to happen. That's because key events are only sent to the control which has focus, and they do not propagate. In this case, the top button has focus, that's what the blue border indicates. But I can actually change focus by pressing the tab key or one of the arrow keys. It is the panel that provides this functionality. Let's try to register the event handler on button 1 instead of the panel. What happens when I press a key now? Well, our event handler is called, but we get a nasty sound. I don't understand why this sound is played. I've tried looking for an answer in the documentation and also posting on WX Widgets forum. Unfortunately, I haven't had any luck so far. Anyway, there is something we can do to get rid of this sound, but it's not ideal. We will add a style to the button called WX Wants Chars. This tells WX widgets that we wish to handle events for all keys, including tab and the arrow keys. When you encounter a control that isn't responding to some or all key events, then use this style. Okay, check out what it does to the annoying sound as well. When I press a key, our event handler is called and there is no sound. That's great. So why did I say that it's not ideal? If I press tab or an arrow key, 
then focus no longer changes to the other button. We have effectively disabled focus navigation. It's cumbersome, but there is something we can do about that. Let's say I want to change focus when tab is pressed. In on key down, we check if tab was pressed. If so, we get the window or control, which receives the event like this. And then call its navigate method. Let's check it out. When I press a key, everything works like before. But pressing tab now gives focus to the other button. As you can see, there are many intricacies of keyboard events. Before I lose you completely, let me say something important. I think the only really common scenario is this. When a certain key is pressed, something should happen regardless of which control has focus. In other words, we want to catch global keyboard events. You could of course call bind on all the controls you have, but there is an easier way. I'll get rid of wx once chars from the button. And add it to the panel instead. Then we call bind on the panel. And change the event tag to wx evt char hook. Now we get all key events. It doesn't matter which control is in focus. That's it for this time. I hope you now have a better understanding of keyboard events in WX widgets. See you in the next video.